the Grow Coaching Model Framework. This lesson is taken from TrainTheSalesTrainer.com, the Train The Sales Trainer license. Hello and welcome to Train The Sales Trainer with me, Chris James. Sales coaching one-to-one -one feedback taken from the Train The Sales Trainer license. When using the Grow Coaching Model, the sales trainer's role is to facilitate the conversation. People rarely argue against their own conclusions. So in reality, you're not coaching at all. You're consulting and guiding because the sales reps are doing the coaching for you. Now, if sales trainers follow the same methods as the sales reps to ask questions, to identify problems, we'll get two-sided learning experience. You see, two-sided questions encourage the sales reps to find the problems for themselves. You know, there's a certain impact from sales reps when they hear themselves admit the problem they are having and the impact that these pains are going to have on their targets. Just remember, open-ended questions get the consultant to elaborate. Two-sided questions help them clarify their thoughts. Taken together, they create explicit needs and learning momentum. GROW is an acronym for the four key steps in GROW coaching. G for goals. That's goals and aspirations. R is for the reality, the current situation, the internal and external obstacles. O is for options, possibilities, strengths and resources. W is for will, your actions and accountability. With a few powerful coaching questions, a sales trainer can quickly raise awareness and responsibility in each area. When using the GROW coaching formula, remember it is what the sales rep says and does that creates the learning and not what the sales trainer says and does. The scenario. Lewis is a very experienced SDR in the sales team. He's selling cloud storage. His target industry is banking companies in EMEA. He's struggling with some parts of his job. Looking into the sales pipeline, there is not enough. Lewis has two time budget in his pipeline. Note that two times budget means Lewis has to convert one in every two deals. Therefore, if his target was five deals, he'd have to convert 10 opportunities in his pipeline. Realistically, you'd want four times or five times budget. His forecast is already too low for two months. Please turn to page 28 of the sales coaching book for the grow template or download it automatically from this site. We start with G, G for goal and an open-ended question. Ask this question to get an understanding of the sales consultant's knowledge of their current situation and their mindset coming into the coaching session. Lewis, if I could grant you three wishes for this one-to-one -one session, what would they be? Now clarify the consultant's response by using a rephrase. Remember to use lots of praise. That's really good. So Lewis, what you are telling me at the end of this session, you would like Answer 1, answer 2, answer 3. Is that correct? Once they've set their expectations, it's time for you to set yours. And I would do it this way. Lewis, what I'm looking from you today is a really insightful and honest run through of where you are today and where you'd like to be at the end of the quarter or year. I really am here to help you. With this in mind, I like this quote from Rick Charlesworth. The interesting thing about sales coaching is that you have to trouble the uncomfortable and comfort the troubled. Next is R for reality. Now we don't want to jump down their throat. We don't want to scare the sales consultant away. We need to get a relaxed impression of how the sales consultant is feeling about his current situation. To start, you should ask simple questions like, how are things going for you at the moment? And as we go on, Go into the more two-sided questions. Walk me through some of the challenges you are facing on a daily and weekly basis. Tell me, what's important to you and why now? Describe for me, where would you like to be at the moment? And always end with, is there anything else you can think of? You are looking for them to give you the answers, without being too pushy. Jimmy Johnson sums up this moment in the Grow Coaching Model. Treat a person as he is and he will remain as he is. Treat him as he could be, and he will become what he should be. The sales consultant has had their chance to tell you where they feel they are. Now it's time for the reality of their situation. You need to identify the problem for them. 
You must be able to coach them using open-ended and two-sided questions. Questions like, walk me through your key priorities at the moment. What are you actually prioritizing on? Next, you cannot leave that as the answer. You need to dig deeper. You need to find an explicit problem. You can do this by questions like, what do you mean by that? Dig deeper. Now you need to indicate the pain with a statement. That's done by gap analysis. Where they are and where they need to be. Lewis, at the moment, you need to convert one in every two deals to hit your target. Your pipeline is falling short and this has been happening for the last two months. You need to have at least four times budget. The wording of this part is very important. Cultures are different, training managers are different, expectations are different. But you really need to implement the problem. If this carries on, Lewis, you will not hit your target. Tell me about the implications of failing to hit your targets for three months in a row. Dig deeper. Did they fully understand their current situation? This one question can hurt the most. So give the sales consultant time to sit and think about the implication of where they are now. Remember, we're here to help. We're here to get them out of that situation and move them forward. Now take time to look at the sales consultant's priorities. Are they the real reason for the poor pipeline? What is actually happening to the SDR? Have they successfully found the cause of their problem? O is for options. After facing the reality, it's time to rephrase the sales consultant's priorities. Lewis, you've told me your three main obstacles at the moment are answer one, answer two, answer three. Is that fair? Challenge the sales consultant to find the answers for themselves. What do you think you could do to change the situation? Dig deeper to find explicit needs. What else could you do? Who can help you to achieve this? Would you like a suggestion from me? It's up for them to find the answers for themselves. Having only one option is not an option. Once we've walked through the options, it's time to look at the desire and the will of the sales consultant. W stands for will. Set and define future SMART goals. You could say, when we've wrapped up this session, what are you going to do and when? As Michael Johnson said, the best motivation comes from within. To conclude the practical coaching session, it is vital that you agree the next steps. Okay, excellent. So today we'll set up three key steps to help you drive too. You have agreed. Answer and date, answer and date, answer and date. Does that sound correct? When you review this lesson, are those answers and dates realistic? Have you been fair to the sales consultant or have you set them up to fail? Even though you've both agreed it, are they manageable? Always close the meeting with a positive message. Excellent. I really believe if you stick to the three steps agreed here and to the timeline, you'll be back on course. Lewis, is there anything else you would like to discuss today? Okay, happy selling. Speak again soon. All sales coaching is, is taking a sales rep where they can't take themselves. This lesson was delivered by Chris James for Train the Sales Trainer. If you want to see more information about the course, this lesson is taken from the Train the Sales Trainer license at www.trainthesalestrainer.com.